Multiplying polynomials. Find the product. And you're given x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 2. So I'd like you to take a second right now and try to work out this problem for yourself. Put the work in. And if you get stuck, here are a couple steps to help you along the way. The first step, multiply using the distributive property. For this point here, the first thing you're going to do is multiply using FOIL, which as you remember stands for first, outer, inner, last. So you can start by multiplying x times x, x times 1, 2 times x, and 2 times 1. When you multiply that out, you wind up with x squared plus x plus 2x plus 2. And don't forget, you're still left with x minus 2. Next up, combine like terms. So let's see what we have here and identify our like terms. You have here x and 2x. Those are both like terms, so we can circle them. Now, x plus 2x is going to equal 3x. So we're going to rewrite this a little bit differently. We'll put x minus 2 in front, and then you have x squared plus 3x plus 2. And now we go on to our third and final step, which is to repeat the process of multiplying everything out. So we're going to start with the x. x times x squared. x times 3x. And x times 2. Which is going to give you x to the third power plus 3x squared plus 2x. Now you're going to take the negative 2 and multiply it by x squared. Negative 2 times 3x and negative 2 times positive 2. And you're left with negative 2x squared minus 6x minus 4. And what you want to do again is identify like terms. So what we can do is identify like terms. Here, you have x to the third power, and there's nothing you can combine this with, it's all by itself. Next, you can identify 3x squared and negative 2x squared are like terms. 3x squared and minus 2x squared is going to give you x squared. You can combine them because they're the same variable and power. And let's identify more like terms. So you have a positive 2x and a minus 6x, which is going to give us negative 4x. Again, they're the same variable in power. And what's left over? A negative 4. A negative 4 is just a constant. So let's identify everything we have. We have x to the third power x squared, negative 4x, and a negative 4. We're going to write down in descending order, and your final answer is x to the third power plus x squared minus 4x minus 4.